Techa Uvisharecha, Leman tis Keruva asitem, et kol mitzvotai, vitem kiroshim lerohechem, ani adunai erohechem, asher hotseti etchem, me eretz mitzrayim, lehiot lachem lerohim, ani adunai elohechem. Thou shalt love is found in the back cover of the Sidur, of your prayer book. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. And these words which I command thee on this day shall be upon thy heart, shall be upon thy heart, and thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and thou shalt speak of them when thou sittest in thy house, when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up, and when thou risest up, thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thy hand. And they shall be for frontlets between thine eyes. And thou shalt write them on the doorposts of thy house. And upon thy gates shall they be written. And behold ye unto your God, unto your God, unto your God, unto your God. Happy is the one whose trust is in God, who draws hope from hope's own source. He will set free the captive and open the blind eye. The Lord's Spirit is in us. The Eternal has called us. When Israel saw your might displayed in Egypt, they put their faith in you and in Moses, your servant. Now let all be free and let them sing as Israel did at the shore of Freedom's Sea. Mi ha mo ha ba'eli madonai Mi ka mo ha nedar ba'kodesh No ra tehilo osefele O Sefele La 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 Adonaiim loch le'olam ba'en Baruch ata Adonai Ka'yisrael Who is like you, eternal one, among the gods that are worshipped? 
Who is like you, majestic in holiness, awesome in splendor, doing wonders? Your children saw your saving power, and they said, This is my God. The eternal will reign forever and ever. And God said, Let there be light. This first light God made before he made the sun and stars. He showed it to David, who burst into song. This was the light Moses saw on Sinai at the creation. The universe from end to end radiated light, but it was withdrawn, seemed soon withdrawn. And now it is stored away for the righteous until all the worlds will be in harmony again and all will be united and whole. But until this future world is established, this light coming out of darkness and formed by the most secret is hidden. Light is sown for the righteous. The shadows fall, but end of day fills the eye with brightness. The infinite heavens glow and all creation sings its hymn of glory. With hope, therefore, we hope, we pray for light within. O God, reveal yourself. Hide no more. Let your face shine on all who seek you. Eternal and infinite God, banish our darkness. Be present to us as the sudden light that lifts the heart and brings us joy. Then shall we be at peace, O God, whose peaceful shelter we seek through all the days and nights of our lives. Vishamru is on page, the transliteration is on page 769, number 8 in the back of your Siddur, and we chant Vishamru from Exodus chapter 31. Vishamru v'nei Yisrael et ha-shabbat la-asot et ha-shabbat le-dorotam v'rito olam vishamru B'nei Yisrael et ta-shabat la-asot et ta-shabat le-dorotam berit olam. B'nei Yisrael et ta-shabat o-ti le-olam. Vishamru v'nei Yisrael et ha-shabat la-asot et ha-shabat le-dorotam b'rit olam. Ki sheshet yavim asarai et ha-shamayim v'et ha-aret vishamru V'nei Yisrael et ta-shabat la-asot et ta-shabat le-torotam b'rit olam. U'vayovashvi shavat v'inafash, shavat v'inafash, shavat v'inafash. Vishamru v'nei Yisrael et ha-shabat la-asot et ha-shabat le-dorotam berit olam. We pray the English together. The people of Israel shall keep the Sabbath, observing the Sabbath in every generation as a covenant for all time. It is a sign forever between me and the people of Israel. For in six days the eternal God made heaven and earth, and on the seventh day he rested from his labors. Let us rise for tefillah. Adonai tiftach tehilatecha Eternal God, open my lips that my mouth May declare your glory, Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu ve'Elohe Avoteinu, Elohe Avraham, Elohe Yitzchak, Yaakov. 
Great is the power of your love. You have made us in your image and raised us high above all other creatures. You have exalted us to struggle against evil, to strive for holiness, to plant seeds of love in all our dwellings. And you, the eternal one, help us to face death with the trust that what is good and lovely shall not perish. Lord and creator, joyfully we embrace your call to life. Help us to live with courage that we may hallow our lives as we sanctify your name. Days pass and the years vanish and we walk sightless among miracles. Lord, fill our eyes with seeing and our minds with knowing. Let there be moments when your presence like lightning illumines the darkness in which we walk. Help us to see wherever we gaze that the bush burns unconsumed. And we, clay touched by God, will reach out for holiness and exclaim in wonder. How filled with awe is this place and we did not know it. Blessed is the eternal one, the holy God. Can we do Yismachu? Yismechu v'malachu techa Shomre, 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 shahabad V'kore, onek, shahabad Yismechu v'malachu techa Shomre, 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 shahabad V'kore, onek, shahabad Aha, mekadashem Shabbat <laughs> 
Those who keep the Sabbath and call it a delight shall rejoice in your kingdom. All who hallow the seventh day shall be gladdened by your goodness. This day is Israel's festival of the Spirit, sanctified and blessed by you, the most precious of days, a symbol of the joy of creation. You are one, your name is one, and there is none like your people Israel, a people unique on the earth. A garland of glory have you given us, a crown of salvation, a day of rest and holiness. Abraham rejoiced in it, Isaac sang, Jacob and his children were refreshed by its rest. In this rest are love and sharing, truth and faithfulness and peace, quiet and safety. It is the perfect rest that you have willed. May your children come to understand that this Sabbath rest links them to you, that by it they may hallow your name. Let us pray silently through the middle of page 173, please. Let the day come when we turn to the Lord of peace, when all are a single family doing his will with a perfect heart. The source of peace, lead us to peace, a peace profound and true. Lead us to a healing, to mastery of all that drives us to war within ourselves and with others. O Lord of peace, bless us with peace. Shalom. Shalom, We'll do the Misha Berach, which is, I was a little distracted here, and I'll tell you why in a moment. It's okay. You get distracted, and it's not a, an ADD distraction, which I have anyway, probably, you know, before they even designated that stuff way back when. But you're thinking about things, and you're praying, and then other things come into your mind all the time, all the time. Let us uh, do the Misha Berach prayer in the back of the sea door, please. Misha Berach, Avotenu, Mikor Habracha, Livotenu, May the source of strength who bless the ones before us help us find the courage. To make our lives a blessing and let us say Amen. <laughs> 
following many on our prayer list. David Mandel, Stacy O'Toole, Tom Zawatowski, Carol Vasek, Steve Sweetnick, Pastor Al Davis, Betty Robinson, Wendy Pollack, Stan Moore, Maddie Heller, Josh Brewer, Allison Sarah Ben-Ezra, Trish Heisler, Larry Riga, Jason Slaby, Phil Lipton, David Slaby, Betty Frick, Teddy Lawrence, Kim Waxman, Millie Lipton, Kathy Garrett, Mara Waxman, Valerie Jarm, Shar Wallen, Gina Rippon, Eleanor Shelton, Randy Oyaski, Chris Ilner, Debbie Warner, Frank Farinacci, David Marshall, George Morris, Yaakov Ben Masha, John and Archer Ackerman, Bruce Adelstein, Afghanistan refugees from the Taliban, the U.S. military injured and the others injured in the uh, suicide homicide bombing, the families of the 13 Marines killed, Mel and Phyllis Appel, Bonnie Apple, George Ashman, Avraham Abad Gittel, Marilyn Bell, David Blatt, Faina Bobrova, Brian Barrett, Courtney Bartunik, Gina and Picky Bergamo, Ernie Burstein, Joe Blasco, Anatoly Blumkin, Tiffany Bawson, Nick Kanisha, Priscilla Carter, Sloan Caston, Gail Selezik, those in the aftermath injured in the those in the aftermath of families of the condo collapse in Florida in June. Christian communities in the Middle East, Boris and Mira Chuchman, Mary Sakati, Joan and Ralph Roll, Darnella Clark, Malcolm Cole, Marilyn Mayers, Amy Coleman, Arlene Comet, Marcy Cox, Warren Comley, Sandra Davis, Gail DeWalt, Quinton Durham, Abby and Jan Ackley, Stacy Falkenstein, those waiting in detention centers, Gene Foxman, Elaine Friedman, Bob Friedrich, Riley Friedman, Alexander Gen, Tom Gehring, Dan Gilbert, Nick Gilbert, Joanne Giovanelli, Shmuel Ben Michal, Judy Goldsmith, Scott Growl, Betty Gray, Ralph Gray, Ellen Gross, Diane Grunes, Eugene Guzik, Judy Guzik. Those in the aftermath of the earthquake in Haiti, healthcare workers, Brian Hodge, Joan Horowitz. Those in the aftermath of Hurricane Ida in at the Gulf Coast and those in the aftermath of uh, the hurricane and the rains all gathering in New York and New Jersey and all around there and Pennsylvania. Keep them in our thoughts and prayers as well. Our Israeli brothers and sisters enduring Palestinian terrorism. Ann Jacobs, Carolyn James, Dave and Marsha Kaplan, Stephen Karras, Seth Caspi, Gigi Harvey, Andrew Hoffman, Amber Keller, Justin Kelly, Mark Klein, Chuck Kalina, Charlotte Kurlander, Margie Kurzbard, Diane and Nate Lebovic, Smadar Lahav, Chuck Landberg, Christine Lance, Sally Lewis, Judith Lieberman, Ron Lingenfield, Darlene Leonardo, Michelle Magazine, Julie Mancino, Sue Marks, Gary Martz Jr., Ciela McLean, Amy Mendelson, Renata Miller, Shelley Moriyama, Maureen Moss Self, Yosef Newman, 
Steve Newman, the grandson of Jack and Pearl Miner, Rabbi Rob Nosenchuk, Kathy and Don Natovny, Mike Novak, Alex Noodleman, Danny Overton, Lester Palmer, Tanya Palmer, Jody Pickle, Jeff Pizum, Dylan Pollock, Arlette Rappaport, Jay Ramris, Laura Reed, Allie Renan, Carolyn Riley, Michael Robinson, Eric Rodiger, Deb Rosenberger, Sophie Rosenthal, Barbara Rosette, Tina Slonsky, Krista Osli Detti, Dragan Detti, Ji Gong, Tony Rossi, Michael Rothschild, Jerry Schiff, Elaine Skolnick, Ed and Carolyn Smith, Maggie Schneider, Susan Schudel, Michael Schumacher, Jonathan Sidor, Jill Shimori, Shimon Ben Malka, Moshe Ben Chaya, Trudy Silverman, Annie Singerman, Rabbi Josh Scoff, Annette Samason, Christina Smith, Dylan Summer, Colin Presley Stacy, Susie Strom, Hannah Zabo, Tibor Zabo, Naomi Harad Hatfield, Chaviva Talmor, Richard Thomas, Brandy Toth, the Uyghur Muslims in Chinese concentration camps, Rabbi Allison Van, Okisi Warren, Brady Ween, Jan Weiner, Karen Weiss, Yitzchak Wessler, Bill and Eddie White, Susan Whedon Feld, Nechama Bat Hana Weeder, Lindsay Erhart Wright, Yaakov Ben Benjamin, the Jewish community in Yemen, Jerry Zussman, and God sent healing and blessing to many good people from every every background, race, religion, creed, and color, not on our prayer list in particular. And let us say, Amen. Psalm 19, may the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable unto you, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer, so beautifully just, just rendered for us. This is Psalm 27, and tonight I have a story to tell you by Rabbi Levi Berdichov. He was a Polish Hasid from the 18th century, the late 17th, late 1700s. And he was well known, this Hasid was well known for being someone who stood up for his people. He stood up for the Jews. Those poor, unfortunate souls, all we all descend from, and also we are those poor, unfortunate souls sometimes as well. 
and it is a story for the days approaching Rosh Hashanah and we will pray Psalm 27 in a few minutes so here is a prayer a story as we approach Rosh Hashanah last but certainly not least Rabbi Levi Yitzchak Berdachev. It was Rosh Hashanah, and it was time to sound the shofar. Rabbi Levi Yitzchak recited Psalm 27, which we will recite in a few moments, the whole thing in Hebrew. Then he recited Psalm 118, the whole thing in Hebrew, obviously. O oh God, I call on you from my pain, my suffering, and my tears. Everyone then waited for Rabbi Levi to sound the shofar. But there was a long pause and a lull, and Rabbi Levi Yitzchak Berdachev waited. He removed the shofar from his lips, and he waited. People in the congregation became restless, has the rabbi forgot what to do? Has the rabbi forgotten how to sound the shofar? Has, what's happening? Why, why isn't he sounding the shofar? Finally, after a few moments, it seemed to be a very long time, he smiled, and then he offered this explanation. My friends, he said, in the rear of the shul sits a Jew who spent 28 years away from the Jewish people. At the young age of 12, Russian soldiers grabbed him and kidnapped him away from his family and they conscripted him into the Russian army. And for 28 years, he was away from his family. Now he's 40 years old and only just two days ago, he was discharged from the Russian army. He's not been to shul for 28 years. He hasn't been among the Jewish people for 28 years. A year before he was supposed to be bar mitzvah, the Russian army took him. This man did not remember any of the prayers they, he had learned as a youngster. However, he yearned for his Judaism, and he yearned for his God, and he yearned for his people, and he yearned for his religion. And when I told everyone to recite with me, the 27th Psalm, and then we recited Psalm 118 together. He did not know it. He didn't know any of the words. However, he did not want to sit in his seat in the rear of the shul doing nothing and saying nothing. So he recited the only Jewish, the only Hebrew thing he remembered from his youth. He recited these things with his heart, his full heart and his full mind and his, his full soul, not just merely with his lips. And he recited the Aleph Bet over and over. He remembered the Aleph Bet from his childhood. And so he recited the Aleph Bet as we were all reciting Psalm 27 and then Psalm 118. Rabbi Levi Yitzchak continued, I allowed these letters some time to rise heavenward so that God could form prayers for himself from those letters of the Aleph Bet. Now he can begin the, the Tekiah Shofar, the sounding of the Shofar. And then he did. He sounded the Shofar. You see, to Rabbi Levi, the ignorance and the poverty of a person are they were immaterial. It was the sincerity of the person's prayers, even if they weren't formal prayers, even if they weren't even in the same language that were primary. And that is what counts on Rosh Hashanah as we will gather for Rosh Hashanah. It's what counts every day. It counts every single day. The intention with which we offer our prayers. 
Let us pray together Psalm 27, and then we will do the Tikiyat Shofar. Of David, the Lord is my light and my help. Whom should I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Whom should I dread? When evil men assail me to devour my flesh, it is they, my foes and my enemies, who stumble and fall. Should an army besiege me, my heart would have no fear. Should war beset me, still I would be confident. One thing I ask of the Lord, only that do I seek, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord, to frequent his temple. He will shelter me in his pavilion on an evil day. Grant me the protection of his tent. Raise me high above a rock. Now is my head held high over my enemies round about. I sacrifice in his tent with shouts of joy, singing and chanting a hymn to the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry aloud. Have mercy on me. Answer me. In your behalf, my heart says, seek my face. O Lord, I seek your face. Do not hide your face from me. Do not thrust aside your servant in anger. You have ever been my help. Do not forsake me. Do not abandon me. O God, my deliverer, though my mother, father and mother abandon me, the Lord will take me in. Show me your way, O Lord and lead me on a level path because of my watchful foes. Do not subject me to the will of my foes, for false witnesses and unjust accusers have appeared against me. Had I not the assurance that I would enjoy the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Look to the Lord, be strong and of good courage. O oh, look to the Lord. We sound the shofar during Elul to awaken us from our spiritual slumber. And as uh, before when I was distracted and I was looking through, so it's uh, 49 years since the, uh, the Munich massacre, the uh, 1972 uh, Munich Olympics. And... Uh, there's a plaque up there. I don't know if it's if it's burning or if it's burnt out the, the light bulb, but we have the names of those uh, Israeli athletes, and one of them is a uh, Clevelander, David Berger. And just in terms of healing and the Mishiberach prayer, the, the anniversary of the death of a loved one is is never easy. And it's been 49 years. I remember as a child watching. The, uh, the Olympics, as probably most of you did. It was pretty amazing to realize it was 49 years. It's a long time ago. So we keep those families in our prayers for healing as well uh, every day, but especially now as we come to the Yort site on Monday. On, let's see, today's the third, fourth, on Sunday. All right, September 5th. <sighs> okay. Uh, please let us turn to page 451 in the Sidur. How's the patio look out there? Nice. It looks like it'll be a good place to put a bunch of chairs and sit there. So we should talk about this afterward. I know two Jews, three opinions. Everybody's got an opinion on this, so you'll tell me uh, after services. We have all the chairs staged, and the question is, when do we move chairs outside to leave them sit? And so whether that's tonight or <laughs> not tonight, okay. Yeah, Monday's great. I hope you come early to do it. <laughs> I don't mean just you. I mean just Everybody, everybody has a good, a good reason. So page 451, 
uh, page 452, excuse me, for our people and our nation. Bless, O God, this congregation, those who lead and serve it, those who contribute to its strength. Bless all who enter this house, that the worship offered within its walls may be worthy of your greatness and your love, and that all who seek your presence here may find it. For the joy of community, the gift of diversity, and the vision of harmony, we offer our grateful thanks. Bless our land and all its inhabitants. Prosper us in all our undertakings. Be with those whom we have chosen to lead us, that they may strive to establish justice and opportunity for all, and labor to bring peace to the family of nations. Israel, wherever they dwell. Be with us here where we worship you in freedom. And may those who live under oppressive rule find release and liberty speedily in our own day. May your favor rest upon Israel, her land, her people. Protect her against hatred and war. Grant that the promise of her beginning may ripen into fulfillment, bringing comfort to those who seek refuge, light to those who dwell in darkness, new hope to all humanity, and let us say, Amen. And we beseech thee, O God, to shield and protect uh, the men and women in our armed forces in the air, on sea, and on land. Bless them with victory. May it be thy will that the dominion of tyranny and cruelty speedily be brought to an end and a kingdom of righteousness be established on earth with liberty and freedom for all of your children. And let us say, Amen. We pray in general for the IDF and in particular for the Israel Defense Forces, Tom Rosencrantz, Itamar Meromi, Omri Kanan. We pray for the families of Aron Shaul and Hadar Golden. Those two soldiers were killed in the war with Gaza in 2014 in Hamas. As Hamas is still holding the remains of those two soldiers. and uh, Their families are not able to bury them. Avira Mingestu is an Israeli citizen who is being held hostage by Hamas in Gaza since 2014. We pray in general for the U.S. military and in particular U.S. Army, Neil Altman, Daniel Corrigan, Derek Olbrock, Charlie Spinks, Steve Calderon, Alex Taipel, U.S. Marines, Sidney Bernstein, Max Schlesel, Dylan Lawson, Bjorn Rube, U.S. Navy, Ethan Bernstein, Sidney Malone, Josh Olbrock, U.S. Air Force, Keith Pearson, Ohio National Guard, David Newman, National Guard, Channing Schrock. We pray for the officers of the Mayfield Heights Police Department, Fire Department, first responders, and also we generalize that to the rest of everyone who does that as well. American prisoners in Iran, Sia Maknamazi, Imad Shargi, Austin Tice is an American journalist kidnapped in Syria in 2012. Mark Fryricks, a civil engineer abducted in Afghanistan in 2020. Paul Whelan, a U.S. Marine in prison under suspicion of spying in Russia for the last almost three years. Trevor Reed, a U.S. Marine in Russia being held for spying charges as well for about the last year. And so we pray that all of them and the others on the prayer list will be reunited with their families in as good condition as is possible. And let us say amen. The adoration is on page 615, as we rise. Oh, page 617, as we rise. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let us adore the ever-living God and render praise unto Him who spread out the heavens and establish the earth whose glory is 
is revealed in the heavens above and to his greatness is manifest throughout the world he is our god there is none else we bow our head in reverence and worship the king of kings the only one praise be he the king of kings the only one praise be he Vanachnu korim umishtach avim umodim Melech malche hamlachim HaKadosh Baruch Hu The Holy One, praise be He HaKadosh Baruch Hu the only one praise be he. Page 628, please. We recall the loved ones whom death has recently taken from us those who died at this season in years past, and those whom we have taken into our hearts with our own. The memories of all of them are with us. Our griefs and sympathies are mingled as we praise God and pray for the coming of his kingdom. This Shabbat we call to heart and mind those who most recently passed into the valley of the shadow of death. Melvin Malecki, Renee Diamond, Lila Sorkin, Sharon Barton, Brian Barrett, Martin Blake, Ruth Hammer, and those whose yortzites are commemorated this Shabbat Nitzavim. Sophie Adler, Deanne Bayer, Bill Bellman, Sarah Black, Herman Eisenberg, Ernest Emmerman, Joe Feglis, Helen Fine, Joyce Friedrich, Samuel Goldfarb, Edward Katz, Sylvia Lichen, Irving Levine, Betty Malitz, Lenny Marshall, David Meisner, Morton Myers, Carol, uh, Carol Rubenstein, Jack Saltzman, Melvin Schneider, Tilly Scott, Morris Signer, Barbara Signer Jessel, Sam Zimmerman, David Berger, Zev Friedman, Yosef Goodfriend, Eliezer Halfen, Yosef Romano, Amitsur Shapira, Kahat Shore, Mark Slavin, Andre Spitzer, Yaakov Springer, Moshe Weinberg. And those of our ancestors who perished in the Shoah and the 13 Marines who died in Afghanistan recently. There are many others as well, civilian and military. Too many names for us to mention. May all of their memories be for a blessing. And let us rise to recite Kaddish, page 629. 
Yitgada v'yitgada shmei raba ba'alma divrach irutei v'yamelich ma'chutei v'chai echon v'yom echon v'chai dechol beit Yisrael v'agala v'yizman kari v'yimru amen yehe shmei raba m'varach le'olam olamei almaya yitbarach v'yishtabach v'yitpar v'yitormam v'yitnase v'yitadar v'yitale v'yitalal shmei dekudasha v'richu Le'ela min ko berchata v'shirata, tush berchata v'nechamata, dam iran ba'alma v'imru amen. Yehe shlama rabba min shmaya, v'chayim aleinu v'alkor Yisrael v'imru amen. Ose shalom v'imromav, hu ya'ase shalom aleinu v'alkor Yisrael v'imru amen. May the source of peace and peace to all who mourn and comfort all of us who are bereaved. And let us say amen. amen. Richard, are you available to come forward and do the announcements? So we want to thank Linda for sponsoring tonight's own egg. It would have been your 49th anniversary yesterday, you said, your dear husband, Richard. Did you bring the, uh, did you bring the whiskey? I remember it, his shiva. I don't remember what, what we were drinking, but I know it was not, it was whiskey? Irish whiskey. Well, you know, from what I know, I got to learn about these things. Thank you very much. Well, you know what? This main, oy vey. Look, what do I know? I'll make sure, is this on? Hey, can you put on the microphone there? Let's try it. Yeah, there it is. Oh, you're on and it's big. I, I'm on and it's big. Let's it's see if I can turn it down. It's big and it's on. Can you turn it down? I, I turned me down. It's a very... So, uh, first of all, if you are watching on Facebook or if you're watching on YouTube, you have my apologies. What I found is that everybody who upgrades my technology realizes that it takes at least two efforts to figure out what works. So for the beginning, we didn't have sound because I forgot that we had a new button that had to be pushed. And there were some interesting issues involving camera work, but I think we've, we're getting it there and I'm sure it's gonna... it will be wonderful for the high holidays. Also, we're going to have the professionals here for, <laughs> for high holidays, which makes an enormous difference. To have people who actually know what they're doing as opposed to little old me doing this. Um, so thank you for bearing with us as we go through these growing pains. But the technology is amazing. I hope that some of the shots that you saw at home really look as good as they seem to on my iPad. Um, Linda, today uh, I, I know sponsoring the Oneg in memory of your husband is something that's important to you and it, it's important to, to me to be here. You're so important in our office and you've, people might not know this, but Linda's edited or voiced an opinion or changed things so I sound better on almost everything I've written since I became president and Linda's an absolute joy to work with. And so thank you for sponsoring and, and thank you for everything you've done over the last several years. Um, Monday is the Super Bowl of Judaism, right? That's what I've been telling the guys who work on the AEV is Monday is the Super Bowl. You have to have us ready. Nothing can go wrong. And uh, so Monday at 7.30 is Erev Rosh Hashanah, and we do have a canopy outside. It is not a tent. A canopy is open on all four sides, and a tent is not. And if you don't want to be inside, you don't want to be in a tent. You want to be under a canopy. If you do want to be inside, we changed our policy last week. As I had informed the congregation, the opening committee would get together and review the statistics, and we've had a spike. I understand there's about 400 people in the hospital as of last night with COVID. And due to that, we are going to have everybody who comes into the building masked. And if you need to get out of your mask, you're free to go out and be on the patio and be under the canopy where you'll have shelter from the sun or from the rain, hopefully no rain. 
We also plan on having a television out there that will stream the service. So if you're out there, you should be able to see it as well as hear it. On uh, Tuesday, we'll be here at 10 a.m. And uh, in both cases, tickets are required. And it's important that we track this year because God forbid there should be somebody who is exposed to COVID. We need to be able to do contract contact tracing. We need to get back in touch with everybody who's in the building. So do make sure that you check in, regardless of whether you're out on the patio or whether you're in the building. Uh, and on Tuesday at 10 a.m., you'll wanna check in as well. After the service, we're going to do Tosh Leak. This will be the last time we do makeshift Tosh Leak, but Mark Friedman has been so wonderful the last several years in helping us do make, makeshift Tosh Leak uh, because our water feature will be installed for next year. Uh, Tuesday at 2.30, the children's service uh, will begin. If the weather is good, that will be outside. Tickets are not required for that. And then of course, on the 15th, we'll have uh, Kol Nidre services at 7.30, and on the 16th, we'll be back here. Children's services at 9, adult services beginning at 10, and then between the adult service and Jonah, we're going to have uh, Erica Gold and Smidar Lahav tell stories of, in Erica's case, her escape from the Nazis, and Smidar's case, her father's escape from the Nazis. So if you would look, prefer to be here rather than home trying to fast, you're going to hear some really fascinating tales. And it's a reminder of why it's so important that we carry on our tradition of Judaism. And I say this often, the Nazis didn't kill us, but if we don't raise Jewish children and grandchildren, we will. So uh, please stick around and, and, and listen and be informed. Of course, we're here every Friday night at 7.30. And if you're watching on YouTube and Facebook, you'll get a better experience next week. Uh, Sunday, September 12th is going to be the first day of religious school for all grades. That'll be uh, starting at 9 o'clock. If you haven't already, send in your registration form. And Friday, September 24th, the return of Pizza in the Hut, followed by Sukkah decorations. And uh, that's for children six and above. Uh, it'll be $8 and under five are free. RSVP by September 20th, there will be no walk-ins this year. And again, that's just part of the COVID policy. We will be collecting, Rabbi was kind enough to put this bag up here, but we're gonna be collecting tuna and mac and cheese and cereal and canned fruit and soups and pastas and oatmeal and soaps and shampoos and deodorant and toothpaste and other things that I maybe have forgotten. But as my good friend Peter Framark would say, don't buy wide, buy deep. Meaning if you're gonna buy tuna, buy a lot of tuna, don't buy some tuna, some macaroni, some cereal, etc. cetera. And uh, I know that there's some sales going on, so uh, we hope that you will fill the bag and bring it here. And uh, we will be collecting on Yom Kippur. And uh, Brett, can you update me on our peanut butter and jelly situation? So, so for folks who are watching at home, let me just make sure you heard that. We are low on jam. We don't want jelly, we want jam. And uh, we're doing pretty well with peanut butter, but we can use quart size bags, preferably the ones that zip. Uh, if you do wanna bring peanut butter, please do. Don't bring the natural stuff. We want the good artificial stuff that's easy to spread. But jam is most important right now, then bags, then peanut butter. We also need people to help make the sandwiches. If you're here, we'll be masked and we'll be gloved when we make the sandwiches. And Rabbi is driving them down tonight uh, to the homeless shelters. And uh, with that, Erica, Rabbi always says, did I forget anything? I'm gonna ask you, did I forget anything? Erica doesn't think so. In that case, I did. Oh, yes. So. Thank you. In the atrium uh, and in the social hall, right? There are two things going on. So in the atrium, the choir 
will be rehearsing or practicing or warming up. Rachel, what's the correct? Uh, when in the morning, are you warming up? Is that accurate? We, we warm up, we rehearse, and we so, so before, before the service on uh, on Monday evening, if you get here a little bit early, stop by in the atrium, and you'll be able to listen a little bit to the choir. And then on Yom Kippur, in between services, there will be some meditative music being played on a nice baby grand piano in the Stark Family Social Hall. So uh, we're, we're trying a couple of different things, and hopefully it works well this year, and I'm sure we will be looking for feedback. And I know the reopening committee is meeting on the 9th, and I'd love to have feedback before we get together about what you think of Rosh Hashanah services. So thanks, Erica. You, great reminder. And uh, with that, I say Shabbat Shalom. As Richard announced, I'll be driving tonight, and I usually drive the first Friday of the month. And you might ask, well, why are you driving now? It's right before Rosh Hashanah. Don't you have sermons to work on? And you're right, I do. However, I find this to be driving of the PB&J. Is, it's a spiritual endeavor. It, we, you know, we get to shoot the breeze as we're driving. We get to pass out PB&J. That tzedakah is important. It's and it's good for the soul. It's good for the heart. So, if you want to drive with Brett and with me, you want to ride with us tonight. Uh, that'd be great. So you can come and ride with us when we leave. We're back in two hours. So we'll probably try to leave by about 9:30. We'll get out of here as quickly as we can, and we'll go, and then we'll come back. And. Uh, our closing melody, let me see here. Well, that's it. What would you like to do for closing melody? Yigdal. Yigdal. Which page? 731. 731. We'll yeah, the sing, 13 attributes of God. Um, we're getting ready for the high holidays. Absolutely. This is a written, this is text is by Maimonides, I think. This is the 13 attributes of God written by Maimonides in the 11th century. Maimonides is a tremendous Jewish philosopher, but you know, in the spirit of the season, let's call him our Maimonides. It just shouldn't be my. I tell that joke every year, and it, it's bad every year. It's bad. Somebody laughs. Usually, it's a groaner. Mostly, they're just like. So let us rise, page 731, and let us rise and fill it, sing Yigdal. We're not going to sing the whole thing. We'll sing Whatever about want. 10 lines. About 10 lines, okay. Elohein of God of our fathers and God of our mothers, watch over us as we leave here this evening and allow us to enter in peace. Amen. Shana Tava upcoming. We'll see.